What's up, you guys? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Sayin' Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and I'm so excited to have our guests this week. They are reoccurring. After mm -hmm. one year, they are back. Yeah. They are hosts of the Even the Rich podcast, Even the Royals, and Rich and Weekly podcast. It is Brooke Sifrin and Aresia Skidmore Williams. I wanted to get it all right. You There's almost a got hyphen, it. <laughs> all of it. Thank you. Welcome back. Yes. How are you guys? For myself. We're great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I can't believe it's been a year. It has been a year. It doesn't feel like it, but then it also feels like it's been a really long time. So it has been. Things. Yes. It's definitely that. Like, has it been a long time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it fall? <laughs> you know, is, is it? it fall? We have a, a heat wave uh, coming up this Enough. week, so Enough I'm done. That. But that's what it always does. We always get edged from summer. <laughs> we'll have like a yeah. nice long week, mm -hmm. and then it's like, oh, cool and mm, brisk, and yeah. then hellfire. Yeah. When I tell you, when the briskness hits out here, I know I am unstoppable. Yeah, <laughs> I am unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And then for the heat to come, and I was just up, and she's up in Burbank where it's ooh warmer, warmer. Yeah, and yeah. just the difference. And it's like, what the hell is this? It is October tomorrow. It's a natural. I know, I know. And I'm ready. I'm ready for spooky season. Ooh. I'm already getting into it. Do you guys have like plans for October? What are we doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going to Yosemite actually for my mom's birthday. Ooh. Her birthday is on Halloween. Oh, we so love that. Spooky mom. Big Halloween yeah. family over uh, here. But she is witch. She is. She's yeah. a new brat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. By Aubrey Plaza. She declared <laughs> it. She said She's witch. Brat is over, witch is in. Okay. Yeah, I witch love fall. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I have my high school reunion on my birthday, which is on Friday. So oh. That's gonna be so fun. <laughs> and then I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> Nothing's uh, more fall than a cruise I know, it's to Hawaii. Hawaii. You know what? <laughs> so... As a native Hawaiian, um, right. mm -hmm. since my trip, yes, mm -hmm. of course. Um, mm -hmm. I applaud this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You will watch Moana multiple times. Oh, already on my audio like mm -hmm. playlist, mm -hmm. that song, especially. I watched it while I was mm -hmm. there. Oh, mm -hmm. I watched it mm -hmm. going there and coming home mm -hmm. and yeah. crying on both times. You Isn't have to watch Hawaii movies going to Hawaii. For I know. Yeah. It's like... Well, it's weird. Isn't it that the thing when you go to Hawaii, though, you feel like you... Uh, it, it feels like special in a weird way. Like you have to tell everybody about it. And if you meet somebody from yeah. there, you're like, I was there. And they're like, okay. Like, yeah, they no have one cares. There. Yeah. 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 It's like LA when they're like, oh, I, was, I love LA. And you're like, well, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. you've never been. <laughs> There's like tourists and they're like, we went to Hollywood and Highland today. Oh and you're like, God. gross. Yeah. My favorite are people that are like, we're thinking about going to California. We want to do Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco. And it's like, good luck. Yeah. In one day, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Impossible. No. Yeah. They're like, we're, it's going to be a two day trip and they want to go. And it's like, okay. this is literally the the length of this country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And But you're going to have so much fun. You're actually doing a cruise to Hawaii. Yeah. Like going on all the islands. All the islands, <gasps> yeah. God, that's yeah. going to be amazing. I'm you're very probably going to see like volcanoes and stuff like erupting. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm going to have to run out yeah. on lava. Oh, God, I love it. Well, when I was in Hawaii, <laughs> we had a great trip. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but I do have to say that I did get engaged. Yes. Yes. Official. Day. Official. I had so to nice. keep it quiet because uh, <laughs> Evan's parents were coming in town. Okay. And so we kind of told our close friends and family. Um, I told you guys last week, but I had my ring off. I was being mm. sneaky. And, oh, um, sneaky. Watch out for TMZ. I was going to say. I know, well, right. People is just banging on my <laughs> yes. door. Show us your fingers. I know. I'm like, what? What? But like Jeff Lewis was like oh. trying to come at me and be like, oh, did it happen? Did it happen? I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah. Like, shut up. Because we didn't want it to get out and like, you know, ruin the surprise for the parents and stuff. Of and course. also we were like, what's the rush? Let's just. So no Enjoy one. It. So Evan proposed to you, correct? Evan proposed to me. Yes. So he didn't. No one knew that he was doing that. Yes, they did. Okay. I had no clue. You but didn't his know. Parents. His family didn't know. No. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And he sure as hell didn't ask my parents for my <laughs> hand in marriage. <gasps> wow. Scandal. I know. But they, but they would have been like, take it. The old cow has milk in it. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Just yes. Yeah. You gotta get that He's down. Like, I, I did know. call a friend, and they're like, "Oh my god, you're not a spinster anymore." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> congrats, God." This is awkward. Just Cynthia Nixon and I the Gilded Age. Spinster. You know what that term came from? I just learned this recently. It came from women who were so educated they could like make their own things. It was actually like a positive thing, and mm -hmm. it became this like okay. negative. So it's like we gotta reclaim it. Reclaim, reclaim, reclaim spinster. spinster. Yeah, yeah. they're reclaiming anything, all kinds though. of words. Yeah, I think we should. I didn't know what joke. it meant. I always thought it was just some woman like 
spinning in the Ren like Fair. In, mm, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They keep spinning her in the dungeon at night. Yeah. So can we hear the story? Oh yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, this you get ready to tell the story I know, over I should, and over I should, and over I should, again. I should. So uh, he had the ring on him the entire time, and we had like <gasps> he, we had backpacks on because we were outdoors yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. So. It all makes sense now because I'd be like, oh, I need to get the SPF out of your bag. And he's like, I got it. I got it. It's fine. And I was like, okay. This guy is a ah. control freak. Yeah. <laughs> the, only time he, the only time he didn't have the ring was when we went to the North Shore. And mm. we went to the North Shore and I did my now viral um, perfect couple dance. It's not viral. <laughs> um, and beautiful white sand. No, it's viral. I've seen beautiful it. Beautiful water. And I was like, oh, I bet this would be like a great place to like propose to someone. And I didn't say that to be like, right. you know. Right, you were just. And he was yeah. like, shit, you know. <laughs> but then the, <laughs> he was waiting and waiting and waiting. He was like, I don't want to do it in front of like a lot of people. We don't want to be those people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus it's like real touristy and we want to make sure. it special. We don't. Yeah. We don't want some like drunk Midwestern <laughs> person being like, man and a woman, you know, like. Oh, God. You know, we just, we just. Didn't even think about that, but know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gross. Like, we right. didn't want any of That's, that. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. We didn't, yeah. We didn't want any, like, yeah. maggot turtles shaming uh -huh. us or anything. Um, and um, <laughs> then the last day we were there, um, he was like, hey, come out on the balcony. There's, like, turtles. And I knew the turtle schedule. Like, by the end of the week, I knew the turtles and it's my own fault because I was like, it's not three o'clock. It's not four o'clock. That's oh when the turtles God. come. And this was like in the morning. And he's like, look, there's turtles on the balcony. And I was like, what? And I looked down. And I was like, there's no turtles. And I looked over and he was on his knee oh. on the balcony on the 28th floor of the Sheraton Waikiki. <laughs> mm. And it was just really special. He's like, yeah, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And Aww. I love you. And at first, I, I, first, I went. And walked inside. No, what? why? Just, what? Well, because it wasn't it wasn't clicking. There were no turtles. There was no turtles. You're I was like, lied I'm to like, you. Yeah, you're starting off on yeah. a lie. Yeah, <laughs> like wow. And so I was like, yeah. And so we were just kind of like, well, that was easy. And people were just kind of like, I guess expecting it from the trip. But I also was just like, well, if we come back not engaged, I will be okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we got back, people were like, well, what's happening? We see you posting these pictures, and we don't have an announcement yet. And I'm like. Relax, like calm down. So we did the official announcement. We uh, it dropped over the weekend. <laughs> yep, huge. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're very excited. The the his parents came in this weekend. We went to Catalina Island, which mm. we said was you know mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 good. It's a good day trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did some hikes. We ate lots of food. We just kind of hung out, and yeah, it was great. They met our dog Frida and. Aww. They wow. left today, and yeah, it was a great, great nice. weekend. So we're very excited. It's exciting. Yeah. Very yeah. exciting. Congrats again. You know, and it's fun. <laughs> yeah. So fun. But now I'm like, Disgusting. shit, we got to plan a wedding. <laughs> like, oh, wow. God. Are you already thinking about, like, dates or time of year? Or have you got? I gotten mean, right now we're thinking, like, next year for sure, like, this time, okay. maybe yeah. December. I don't yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. So many options. If I could so do it options. again, I would do more of, like, an autumn an autumn. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I'm more of like a fall king. Yeah. 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 For yeah. Sure. This is the time to shine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good, I just love a good, yeah. you know, sporadic heat wave. You know, yeah, I'm just of kind of like, yeah. oh, we'll see. But, will it be 102 um, or will it be 70? It will be. No way to know. You know what? Maybe I'll do like a half inside, half outside wedding. There you go. You know, right. like the one hotel. Give options. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just do something like, oh, there might be a sunroof and maybe a patio. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, I mean. You have our addresses, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Everyone. Okay. Yeah. Great. It's going to be the most exclusive <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Obviously, if we're on the guest list. <laughs> you better be. Um, but It'll be yes. next year. We see each other once. Yeah. Year, so yeah, perfect. so I'll see you guys this time next year. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Amazing. Great. Looking at dresses now. You guys just show up in your like wedding attire. Yep. I'm like, wait, we moved the date. Yep. Uh so no, we're 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 very, very excited. And uh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just an engaged king. Yeah. You got that glow about you. Do I? You do. Okay, good. <laughs> it's well, sickening. Well, I also have an announcement. I'm pregnant. Oh, no! Okay. I know. I knew you were burying I'm, the lead it's here. It's a glow. Yes, I know. But pregnant. It happens. Um, but pregnant. But. <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> but pregnant. But pregnant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> but yeah. So awful. Oh, yeah. it's a real problem in this country. I, I will have yeah. to be My forced to care. Yeah, of I course. Will well, yeah. Have well, to be forced. Welcome to, to America. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but I do want to get into it because now that I'm engaged, I do have to talk about all the celebrities who have gotten mm, engaged yeah. um, this year in 2024, which there have been quite a few. Have there? Um, yeah. First off, we have Halsey and yeah. Halsey and Avon. Mm-hmm. I, Avon? Oh. Jogia? Hojia? I, I don't know. Hogaya or Hojia? I don't, I don't know. I do know him from an ABC family show that I used to watch. He was what on you? an ABC family show? Yes, and I can't remember what it's called, but it was like a, it had like a true crime vibe, but they were in high school. Hmm. I don't know. It classic, got canceled. Classic premise right there. But I, I love it. But I'm loving this look. It's like Ren Fair gypsies. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I love it. Like, yeah, they're cute. I like them together. Like parents and the descendants, you know, that like <laughs> yes. Disney yes. Plus. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. something like that. Yes. Um, we had Justin Thoreau and Nicole Bryden Bloom. Who doesn't, um, who doesn't know her? Yeah, oh, who is Nicole Bryden Bloom? Sure. Jennifer Aniston no 2.0. Ooh. Wow, someone's hanging on to some stuff. That's oh. the only Justin Thoreau relationship I know about is Jennifer Aniston. That's all I know about him, period. Yeah, but yeah. she's also, she kind of looks like Millie Bobby Brown a little bit. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I could see that. Yeah, she's oh. there. She is. She I, I don't know her. seems younger. Yeah, I'm flabbergasted. She's born that. in '94. Okay, wait a minute. So she's young. She's in the Gilded Age. Well, in order special victims unit. That's that's where. where you oh, know that's her. how you know her. Yes, corpse number nine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah. that's how she. She was. nailed the role. Yes, let me tell you, really good. I have Her never breath felt... work on point. I was like, yeah. is this a corpse or is it a, an actor? I yeah, couldn't tell. That's let me her. Ask, have either of you played a corpse in anything? Because I feel like that's a rite of passage as an actor. Like you play a corpse just in daily life. <laughs> <laughs> just dead inside on yeah. the on the rag, basically. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, I've never played a. Oh. Corpse. Have you? I have actually. But Where? Well, this is the saddest part in an indie film. Oh, it's like that's <laughs> the bottom of the barrel. You booked but something, I, but 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 I did have another role in the film. I was just helping out as a corpse, also. You know, okay. And it's indie. It's everyone helps out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like such a collaboration. It is collaboration. It's like one of those like grocery stores where everyone does something. A co-op. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh, I thought you were talking about like Ralph's, and I was like, no one does no, anything at Ralph's. No one helps Except anyone at Ralph's. Tell you that you're amazing. Yeah. Ralph's is Thunderdome. That's yeah. only at 2 30 in the morning, though. <laughs> uh, we also have Alexis Bellino, John Jansen. I can't with those two idiots. <laughs> Enough. It's called love. If, is if it? I have to hear Lexi and Johnny, John, one John, more John Boy, or what does he time? call himself? Johnny J. Johnny J. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like barf. Uh, Rich Paul and Adele. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember okay. this. Okay. She's you know, taking that, turn, she's, that break. Yeah. She's taking that break. She's I'm back. all about an Adele break. Yeah. You know, for all of us and for her. She, she, yeah. She's been wanting it for a long time. She's been wanting it. She's done it. thinking she she's it. on break. And then <laughs> I remember she's <laughs> not on break. She's, she's not. not on break, but now she is. She wants to focus on her family. She yeah. wants yeah. She's did it. She's. She will be back. Adele will be course, back. Yeah, because be she's back. taken breaks before. Yeah. Like when she had her kid. She was with a different person, and I think she took a break then. Mm-hmm. Be back with one of her albums that was really good. Yeah, the last mm-hmm. one. Yep. Um, yeah, whatever one. that one's called. And then we have uh, Kalani Hilliker and Nathan Goldman. Yeah, I know. Oh, both from Dance Moms. I would from not Dance have Dance Moms. Who's the one from Dance Moms? The girl. Kalani. Yeah. I do know her from that. I don't know who he is, though. Okay. I would think it'd be weird if Nathan Goldman was from Dance Moms. That would just, I don't think there that were, would. There <laughs> were. Boys can there dance, some, Wait, Justin. there's boys on Dance Moms now? I don't know if they're on oh. it, but I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. I, I will tell you, Candy Apple Dance Company, which I'm sure you're aware of, <laughs> um, they had a name. boy or two on their team. The rival dance squad, of course. Wait, the Candy Apple Dance Squad? Mm-hmm. Did they were the a ones rivalry? That were throwing people up? So we, we had Abby Lee Miller's school. Yes. And then Candy Apple was like the rival school. Both like <laughs> was Abby School called Abby Lee Miller School? Yeah, it's like Abby Lee Dance Studio. And then Candy company. Apple Candy Apple Dance Studio. Dance Studio. Wow. I would just love that scene and bring it on where it's Abby <laughs> Lee Miller's kids and they're like, guys, mm-hmm. look hard. The candy apples are here. You know, and, like, <laughs> and then they come in, yeah. 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 <laughs> Time to steal our bit, but you look like shit. Apple Jacks, go. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, <laughs> just this little bitchy kid, just like, did someone say Apple Jacks? Let's go. Yeah. You guys aren't even ready. We're going to Apple Jack you up. Yeah, we got mm. cinnamon spice splits. Yeah, and they just like yeah. do a so dip in the middle it. of the floor. Oh, uh, so yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we also have Tom Pelfrey and Kaylee Quaqua. That's how I call her name. My, it is. Quoco, quoco, quoco. Quoco. I just say Quaqua. 
Mm-hmm. Um, like so that. yeah, so lots of celebrity engagements yeah. in the fall. Uh, Emma Roberts oh. and Cody John. Mm-hmm. Um, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yes, Lady Gaga and Michael Polanski, which we're very excited about this. Yeah. Did you hear Lady Gaga's new album? No. No. Okay. How is new it is it? <laughs> no, you don't like it? I don't hear music when it comes out. I'm really... It's okay. I mean, oh. no. The I face The face you're saying... <gasps> I know. Seems like it's far from okay. <sighs> I don't know if it's like her new album that's been promised, but it's like her being like, did someone say original soundtrack? Like, because we mm. have Joker coming out <laughs> right, this right, weekend. Right, right. And... Um, <clears throat> She has a song called Harlequin and oh, okay. ugh, and then the Bruno Mars song and it's just very I have heard the Bruno Mars song. Yeah, and that's I, a good I like that one. I weirdly change the channel when it plays on the radio. That's the mm. only time I've heard it. But I'm not in the car that much, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. But uh I saw the red carpet for it and it just pissed me off. Okay. Land actually sent it to me. Or did I send it to you? I can't remember. <laughs> he sent it to me and I threw my phone against the wall wow. cuz I was like no one Her gave phone. a shit. Like it was like mm-hmm. Lady Gaga, Joaquin, all of like the director, and they were in like like H and M attire, <laughs> and it just Which, and on it, the red carpet. On the red carpet, yes. And I was just like, "What is happening?" And it m- reminded me of RuPaul being like, "I don't want to see any more goddamn H and M on RuPaul's Drag Race." <laughs> Do you remember that one? Uh, oh, uh, wow. I appreciate that. I got that though looks. because yeah, I feel the same way. <sighs> wow. It's like, what's next, Sheehan? No. How dare you bring that up? I know. Not on this podcast. This week's episode is brought to you by our friends over at Pink Dot. For those of you who don't know, Pink Dot is a staple here in West Hollywood. Located right here on the Sunset Strip for 50 years, Pink Dot has been satisfying customers before and after they become big, huge stars. It's the perfect place to grab some late night food or drinks, whether it's made to order or last minute alcohol because you're like me and you forgot to bring a bottle to your friend's party. Sometimes just chips and snacks. Pink Dot has it all. And here at the Comedy Store, we're always trying to support local businesses. And Pink Dot is literally right up the street. Uh, I remember moving here to Los Angeles way back in the day. And Pink Dot was just a small little corner store. And it has just boomed into something huge and magnificent. It's got anything you need, anytime, day or night, delivery. It's incredible. And it's also mentioned in the uh, new series on Netflix, Monsters, about the Menendez brothers. So check it out. They get a huge shout out on that one. Whenever you're looking for something to eat or drink, don't forget, Pink Dot delivers. Well, speaking of Sheen, um, we have Lana Del Rey, who surprised us all over the weekend. Yeah. She got married to her alligator tour by you, boo, (laughs) in a surprise wedding. Which I thought, we all thought was fake. Remember, everyone was like, yeah. Well, she well. commented and said no. Yeah, right. Right? <laughs> everyone remembers there is the that. comment of her saying no. Yeah. It's not like we were like, wait a minute, what? And she did say <laughs> no. Yeah. And then, wait, what do you guys mean? Because I'm so not So somebody was this. like, there was this, yes. it was on Comments by Slubs is where I saw it, where someone was like, Lana is allegedly with Dating this, this alligator guy who is guy. married. Yeah. Um, and like all the rumors and Lana just commented and wrote no. Yeah. Uh. And so people are like, okay, so she's denying the rumors, but then hmm. cut to what, what is that? Just alligator? Alligator? That was the ring amazing. bearer. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That um <laughs> see, that's actually Lana Del Rey <laughs> asking, Hey, can you be my ring bearer? And the alligator was like, I will do it. Yes. You and Evan will of course have a turtle. A turtle, yes. A turtle theme, for Reptiles sure. Reptiles really yeah. are yeah. taking over the wedding market. But, so she surprised us all. She married this guy. Can we go up to the top of this article? So she married uh, her boyfriend, Jeremy Dufresne, <laughs> which just sounds like a powdered beignet. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, mm. They got married. Um, the news came shortly after it was reported that the couple obtained a marriage license this past Monday. The pair tied the knot in, oh my God, here we go, <laughs> De Alamonde, Louisiana, by the bayou, De Alamonde. Wow. where Louisiana. Dufresne works as an airboat captain for an alligator touring company. When people talk about <laughs> this country mm-hmm. that don't live in this country, because mm-hmm. a lot of the times yeah. people seem to associate like <clears throat> Western and country and Southern as like the, it America. embodies the United States. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> like yeah. that that exact sentence mm-hmm. is like what everybody that's not in this country thinks about this country. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> this is so Lana Del Rey though. 
Like, yeah. don't you just see this like <laughs> Lexapro pageant girl? Lexapro pageant girl. Just marrying some by you. Look at her. So, I don't even see him in this picture. Swamp yeah, Masters. Is he in it? He's kind of by you hot. <laughs> the camouflage well, is just fast. I gotta, I gotta see a better picture of this guy. Of him? So, although little is known about Dufresne, mm -hmm. uh, his bio on his company's website offers a tad more information. Apparently, he worked <laughs> seven days a week at a chemical plant before deciding to get cap a captain's license, a move his bio says was a great fit for him. So, chemical okay. plant worker to alligator swamp king. Um, his daughter's supportive of it. I remember reading Yeah, that. She was like, well, yeah, he posted the is. picture with her and she was like, what? She's like, that's Lana Del Rey. I don't think it's his family and friends who were on the phone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, because he was married, I think is one oh, of the things right. that people His are like. Daughter, yeah. But he was getting divorced, I think. I don't know. Yeah. It's always murky. Well, but it's yeah. a it's a big jambalaya of questions. <laughs> what um, a great reference. But <laughs> so on point. It's a lot. It's an etouffee, if you will. Mm. Um, but I'm kind of excited for it. I like it. I mean, you right? have to do like a dual wedding. Oh wait, they're married now. They're married they're now. They got. Married. They did it so fast. They did. I know. I just don't. Why lie. is uh, there a little God. baby croc Here going go. on? Is there a little croc hanging out in there? Croc. She doesn't have any children, right? I don't think so. No. I don't really know anything about her. But I've also, realized. what's the age gap? Because I feel like there is mm. a definite age gap between. It's got to be less than Justin and his teenage bride. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, not bro. you, Justin. I was like, Thank I just. You. <laughs> Thank you so much for seeing me. Justin three. Yeah. Justin Thoreau, the other Justin. Yeah, the other Justin. Um, One of two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they got engaged or got married. I, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So um, this was all over the place. And I'm so glad you brought this up uh, uh -huh. before we started because we all remember the Willy Wonka like mess of, I don't even know how long ago that was. Last I want to say. It was last year. It's hard it was, was last, it last year? year. Yeah. yeah. I so like the it could have been this week. Was it this year? I don't know. I don't know dates. It was like the time. huge like fire fest, fire fest. of Willy Wonka yeah. where yeah. people paid all this money <laughs> to go to this Willy Wonka experience. It was AI simulated posters. <laughs> and when they got there, there was some person wearing like a trash bag <laughs> uh -huh. with like, a, a spirit Halloween <laughs> silver mask. It was yep. terrifying. And Oompa people were let bartender. down. Yep. Kids were traumatized. Mm -hmm. And we were like, okay, well, that will never she clearly. Is. This, yes, she. This is the most that iconic is the image photo that everyone I think remembers. Yeah, like this. yes, that, that image right there. February. That was it February. Was February. Okay, it was, was yeah. I thought, yeah. Okay. So the Glasgow Willy Wonka chocolate <laughs> experience. So apparently that's coming she to LA. She represents all of humanity. In she this. really is. Uh -huh. Like this is where we collectively are as a society, mm -hmm. as yeah. a planet. Mm -hmm. yep. And we're not getting away from it. I mean, this is, she clearly found out the news that Lana Del Rey was married <laughs> to the Swamp Bayou King. And she's like, well, shit, here I, I am. I cannot with this picture. <laughs> I just can't. It's absolute I, chaos. Also, it looks like I am her. Lab. She is me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, hope she's thriving now. She she's probably gotta, isn't. I no. Hope. She's got to have a podcast soon. Well, maybe soon. she got a job. <sighs> yeah. In Detroit, where this one <laughs> happened, the Bridgerton Ball experience oh, is being God. called a scam and complete chaos. So and those are nice words to describe mm -hmm. it. I mean, this is definitely people are comparing this to the Willy Wonka experience fiasco. Yeah, uh, pictures on social media are going viral for an event which organizers <laughs> build as a chance for fans to step into the enchanting world of the Regency era for an evening of sophistication, grace, and historical charm. The reality says some attendees was a disorganized and bare bones event that left costumed attendees <laughs> sitting on the floor yeah. amid vendors selling Kit Kats and watching a stripper who was hired as the evening's entertainment. The only entertainment. The only, I mean. Was this person dancing or yeah. well, stripping or po po they were pole stripping. dancing. They were pole dancing. It was, it was pole dancing, but since then, uh, I mean, look at these <laughs> poor, sad Regency queens. Oh my God. The bells of, <laughs> <laughs> it's just so the hilarious. Bells of the floor, yeah. I can't believe it costs three hundred dollars. No, insane. no. And this is like Detroit, three hundred dollars. Like mm -hmm. it goes a lot further That's true. than mm -hmm. here. Like three hundred dollars mm -hmm. buys you maybe a nice meal at McDonald's well, here. Who but think of Bridgerton when you think of Detroit. You know, well, like as that, someone, who and that's what did, they were banking on. <laughs> as someone who did attend the real Bridgerton ball, how did it compare? 
Oh, it was like, I don't know what happened with these people. <laughs> like, we had, like, the night, like, the queen was there. Where was this? This was, like... The one we was had the, the place that was we that, It was downtown at the... the downtown, Biltmore. yeah. Biltmore. Maybe, like, two years ago. Yeah. yeah we yes. were there. We stayed there for an award ceremony, and... Yeah. Was it happening while you were there? The Bridgerton, Bridgerton was happening. Yeah. yeah, it was. So you got to see all these people walking around? We didn't around? really see a lot of people, though. No. We saw, like, the setup. I wish cool. I had gone because cool I, ha- I have a cape now. It was so much fun. We like me, my friends and I at the time. We were like, we were gonna, we we're gonna win this. Like, we we're gonna be yeah. diamond of the ball. Mm-hmm. Like, I had, I, I got, I had a whole outfit on. Of course. They had actual dancers not gyrating on a pole. <laughs> oh they had like God. silk. I mean, look at this. You didn't get this? Look at this. I, I, I cannot don't First of all, the man in the back. Yeah. <laughs> this girl who's not dressed for a ball, but is just filming this happening. Yeah. It's just a lot going on. I don't understand how they got here. <laughs> like, I understand maybe having one entertainer and not being able to afford anything else, but how'd they get to this point? How, how is a, as a dancer, do you see an ad for a Bridgerton <laughs> and, and like, you're like, me, I'll apply. Yeah. This is I'll just days. wear my bra and panties. <laughs> oh, it's a Regency themed thing? No, I'll just wear what not I wear to the club. Like, you could have at least put on a corset for the time period. But also, why yeah. is it the tiniest pole? <laughs> That's all they could fit into that. Is door. it not a tiny pole? Let, go back up because I look at the to, tiny pole. That is short. That's literally. I'm Mattel. realizing it is very short. That is Although, Mattel's version of my first pole. When you, because I, I had a, I had a portable <laughs> pole once because I was okay. Go back. You, you need. You can't just. You can't just say I had a portable pole. That's once. a portable pole, basically. Probably, that yeah. Is? It, it tell us about is. yours. Okay, so when I lived in Vegas. The, okay, keep going. And it's not what you think. I got cast in a play mm. <laughs> that took. Pl- it was about a s- fictional strip club. Mm. It wasn't even on oh, the strip. Yeah. Nobody got naked. It's like nobody's gonna pay for this. Why would you right. come see clothed dancers in Vegas? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> So we had to learn how to pole dance, and they gave us each a pole. Uh Mm -hmm. It crashed and burned, obviously. I got out before it even premiered because the the director was an asshole. And I sold the pole. And made money off. Wait, of it. on like Facebook Marketplace? Like, what I did think you... I sold it on Craigslist. Oh, gross. <laughs> Good old days. Was... Wait, whoa, why is it gross? Because I no, used it. No, because that means somebody skitties? was on Craigslist and they were like, oh, uh, well, barely this, used. This is around the time. <laughs> no fluids. <laughs> no Fluid snail free. trail. Well, this was around the time that a lot of people were doing that for fitness. Like they were training, oh, yeah, they were that doing a lot really of got really popular, stuff. Yeah. So it was around that time. So that it was less weird. Yeah. It is yeah, a really good work. Have you ever but done that? But they're pole not dancing? that tall. No. I mean, it's, I'm, it I'm is. the size of a pole. I I mean, it is I, a really good wise. workout. It, it is. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and a lot of career opportunities, apparently. Well, yeah. Like this. I didn't know what was ahead of me if I would have held on to it. Sometimes you just got to hold on to the pole. You really do. You know? That's a takeaway. But uh, Bridgers and Ball, I had a blast. It was so much fun. But Did you, one. did the people serving you food, were they wearing football jerseys as well? No. <laughs> like they were here in Detroit? There was no food. No food at the Bridgerton Ball? No, just cocktails, craftily uh, oh, concocted. Okay. Enough. It was, uh, yeah, no food. I do don't you, think Does so. part of you wish that you went to this one instead, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish I had I been. See, I, I would, would have uh, loved to go here. I mean, look, look at, at this. Backdrop. This is literally <laughs> grass. just grass. Like, not even... You're Somebody not even, literally went outside to the front lawn, mm, took a picture, yeah. and went to Rite Aid and yeah. had it blown up. Not one silk of, of wisteria, nothing. <laughs> just put a green screen with grass on it. That's Regency-themed. And yeah. see some of these people in their dresses. That, that, uh, those those are nice. Yeah. Especially with the four lease sign and the window in the back. <laughs> Just this, like the good old days of Bridgerton. <laughs> what is that gym in West Hollywood that opened? John, do you know what I'm talking about, Lynn? Look at this oh, red carpet. John Reed or... The red carpet is so I, janky. I don't know the name. Let me the, look. This is, the, that furniture right there is literally like... John at, Reed Fitness. John Reed Fitness they in West that? Hollywood. Have you heard of this? No. So John Reed Fitness, it took over like a uh, 24-hour fitness in West Hollywood and they turned it into this like weird <clears> like... Shirt optional gym. Oh. And also okay. no pool, but it's drained. I feel like Oh wait, there's wait, a pool, but it's pool? empty. There's a pool, but it's empty. It was supposed to open this year, didn't open. And then they have this like weird, like this shit, like this kind of furniture in the lobby huh. that people can sit in. Oh, and I also mm-hmm. forgot disco balls. Well, and yeah. like tss, 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 like the music's so loud that people have like canceled their memberships. <laughs> and like it's like 
It's this. I feel like John Reed Fitness is the Bridgerton Ball in Detroit. Wow. When yeah. I think of gyms, the last thing I think about is the furniture. Yeah. That's wild. That It's like this. This like is it. like if you walked into the lobby, this is what you would see. Yeah. Flowers on the floor. I mean. For this. The flowers are insane, though. Well, yeah. There's nothing that pisses me off when people just assume that dandelions belong. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, oh, let's just throw some dandelions in there. Some it's sunflowers. It's a wild mix of flowers. It is. Huge mix of flowers. Mix. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say those giant roses aren't real. No. no they no. are. Like, Come when on. Will the lies end? <laughs> the giant Alice in Wonderland hormone roses. It truly looks like they hired a 16-year-old boy mm -hmm. to decorate this. Mm -hmm. And they were like, do you want $15? And they were like, yeah, I want to buy a cigarette. So they did yeah. that. I want to buy a cigarette. The crown on the ground. The uh, crown on the ground. That's appropriate. Well, <laughs> speaking of boys, <laughs> I don't know why it's that speaking What a beautiful of segue. Mm -hmm. This is a, a woman says her wife won't cook without throwing a tantrum. So these are lesbians. These lesbians are angry. They took to Reddit, which means wow. shit's out of You're control. You're really angry. Yeah. I don't advise taking to Reddit because sometimes people find out what you posted and it's awful. Oh, Reddit is a dangerous, yeah. dangerous, yeah. delicious wormhole. Um, so <laughs> this woman says that her wife's inability to cook is starting to affect their marriage with the wife refusing to participate in any household chores on the pretense that she was raised in a family without them. In a post shared to Reddit, the anonymous 24-year-old woman writes that she and her 26-year-old wife are struggling in our marriage as she believes she does not need to help cook or prepare food or even help clean up after mm. besides dishes. The wife was raised in a family that didn't do chores and had a maid come oh. clean the house. My gosh. She has never learned to cook and cannot boil water. <laughs> Despite me walking her through it, she just loses her patience. And despite the poster's many attempts, the wife seems unwilling to learn or contribute to household chores like cooking. I love my wife, and I have taken time out of our evenings to show her how to cook and measure spices, for example. <laughs> she lasts about two minutes before either walking away or throwing a tantrum that she doesn't want to learn, and I should be the only one in this house who has to know how to cook. So, wow. these lesbians are exhausted. <laughs> That's well, what do you women like fighting in the kitchen? Exhausted. Yeah, just two, <laughs> just two lesbians. Yeah, I love a just stock photo of two women fighting in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that's what they look like. Lesbians. How do I measure spices? <laughs> look, Sheila, you just do it. You just put water in a pot and turn the stove on and boil it. It can't be that hard. I don't know. I don't. I had maids and servants at my Bridgerton ball. It's just such an absurd well, scenario. Don't you have these like? You have to know these things before you get married. How did they not know this? Can you both cook? I can. But that doesn't matter. But you know. But you should I know. know. You yeah. know now. Before I boiled you get water married. this morning. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, you you know what you can and can't do by the time you're getting married, unless you're Lana Del Rey and that crocodile. Right. Right. They only had, like, a Trainer. week. Yeah. Trainer. Trainer. Tutor. 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 <laughs> what the fuck Whatever. I do? Trainer. But also, YouTube. <laughs> I I, well, I don't like people that are like I can't cook and it's just like I'm not asking you to make a bouche de Noël. Oh, go come on. I'm out. asking you yeah. to make boil like boiling water. Are you kidding me? You literally do nothing. Bake a you salmon. put it in a can you can you pour liquid into a container? Yeah. And can you turn a dial? Mm -hmm. Then you know how to boil water. Like it's just such a weird thing to be like I can't do it. And also <laughs> this is really letting me down with the lesbian community because I know yeah. some fierce sick lesbians mm -hmm. who can do anything at the drop of a hat, can change a motorcycle's oil <laughs> compartment <laughs> with blinking their eyes, Wow! can, you know, fasten a bridge to cross over water <laughs> Wow! with, like, pool noodles and a dream. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's all you really need. Really, that's it. Like, and so this kind of makes me, like, go, mm. Well, this woman's just a bitch. <laughs> She doesn't want to do it, so she's just making shit up at this point, you know? Honey, I she's just like, don't know. I'm just a sad baby left. Yeah. I don't know how to measure spices. Yeah. <laughs> What's a spice? I, who are the spice girls? Like, how do I turn <laughs> too it? young. Um, <laughs> so I think this is like, we got to, I don't know. I'm going to say this isn't going to They got to end it. They, <laughs> <end> it. <laughs> they never should have gotten married in the first place. No. Yeah. 
And, and it also, sucks because this kind of shit is why people become anti-gay people. <laughs> They're like, this is what happens when two women get married. And it's like, right. I hate to tell you, but it's way worse when a man and a woman get married. Do you think that um, one of the women proposed and in a lobby or something in Hawaii and someone was like, <laughs> she can't boil water! You know, yes, like, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Always make sure your fiancé can boil water, I think is like the Absolutely. bare minimum. <laughs> like, make sure they're not a killer. Make right. sure they can boil water. Oh, that's second? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, interchangeable. Sometimes you don't Interchangeable. Know. Interchangeable. Don't yeah. murder me and also learn how to boil how to water. Boil water. It's easier to find out someone doesn't know how to boil water than it is to find out if they're a murderer. We've seen it time and time again. Yeah. If someone I, was like, I don't know how to boil water, the hugest red flag. Yeah. The hugest red flag. Because where does do it end? Do? Yeah. What do you do? Like, can you, you clearly can't do laundry. And how have they been feeding themselves? Because I know we are in the age of like delivery food, but we weren't always in that age. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they said they were like 24, 26. So maybe they never age. actually had to yeah. provide for themselves. And that's on their parents. Their Those are some bad lesbians. They are, yeah. I'm really pissed off at the lesbians who raised them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm only mad at the one failed. lesbian. Are you yeah. mad at both of them? Hmm? Are you yeah, mad? I'm, I'm mad, mad at the one, one that went into it blind. I'm mad at you the one, yes, I am too. You need to do your due diligence both yeah. ways. But here's the thing. Lesbians kind of do that where they like see something cute and shiny and grab it, mm -hmm. pack it up in a U-Haul and go. Mm. <laughs> pack it up in a U-Haul? <laughs> no looking back, you know? Yeah. They're like, oh, we've been together for five hours. We're doing right, this. This is it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Gotta get, to know. Lesbians Gotta get to know. Lesbians and crocodile hunters. Yeah. That's what they do. Um, coincidentally, it was the pole dancer from the Bridgerton uh, experience. <laughs> I will say, she was good at dancing. Can't boil water, though. <laughs> no. So, water. yep. No. Poor thing. When you're that hot, who needs a stove? Am I right? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> uh, speaking of too hot, oh, Sabrina Carpenter. I love her mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. Um, she is just... I just, I just love her. She, I think she's this the little pop princess that we all oh, need yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. She was performing, I believe, at Madison Square Garden over mm -hmm. the weekend. And she sang her song, uh, Juno, I believe. Um, and I think like Selena Gomez and her boyfriend were oh, there. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, yeah. Selena was dancing, she having was a time living of her, her life. life. I was like, she good looked you. so good. Doesn't she look good. She's I, so yeah. cute. I want to be friends with her. Na mainly so I could get in with Steve Martin and Martin Short. Mm. And yes. Yeah. Be a part of that whole community, but also <laughs> Selena Gomez. Yeah. Really <laughs> She's third. Also yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. Um, but she made a joke on stage where she says, So you like, what do we guys talk about now? Should we talk about how I got the mayor in diamond? <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> That's said, a flex. That is a hard flex. Yeah. So She's clearly talking about Eric Adams, who uh, has been indicted. He's the New York mayor. Yeah. So I didn't really know about this story, but I'm going to read it to you if you're not familiar with it. So mm -hmm. a Brooklyn priest was demoted after Sabrina Carpenter filmed a risque music video in which in his church last year. It's in the news again, and she has weighed in. So Jamie, oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, Gigantiello. Am I saying this right? The priest. Sounded right. Yeah who yeah. was reportedly relieved of his administrative duties on the uh, Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church in November of last year mm -hmm. after Sabrina filmed a raunchy music video for her song Feather at his church. That's what she was singing, not Juno. Juno was what Selena was dancing to. Feather is the video and the song. And afterwards, she was like, let's talk about the mayor getting indicted. Mm -hmm. okay. So in the light of New York City Mayor Eric Adams' indictment, questions have arisen over the priest's alleged entanglement with one of Adams' closest associates. Um, so in recent weeks, federal investigators have issued a subpoena to the church seeking information about financial or business dealings between the priest and Frank Carone, Adams's former chief of staff, according to the New York Post and NBC New York. Mm. Um, Adams was charged last week with five criminal accounts relating to his alleged ties with foreign businessmen and a Turkish official who sought to influence his decision-making. Uh, Caron resigned as the mayor's chief of staff in 2022 <clears throat> to run a consulting firm, but is now chairing Adams' re-election campaign. Um, hmm. Outlets including Politico have suggested that the latter part of the Brooklyn diocese statement refers to the Feather video causing a domino effect that ultimately led to an investigation into the priest described as having a taste, 
no pun intended, <laughs> for flashy accessories such as a large Rolex and then into Adams' ultimate indictment. Meanwhile, the defense attorney told the Post that the priest is not the target of any federal, state, or city investigation. Yet. So the Monsignor first made headlines <laughs> last year after Sabrina filmed her Feather music video, a horror-inspired clip that sees the star on a killing spree to off boys who have wronged her. Um, this, uh, Sabrina says that she did get permission mm -hmm. to film there. Yeah. The music video ruffled feathers with the Diocese of Brooklyn reportedly saying in a statement that he was appalled at what was filmed. <laughs> in response, the parish said that the production company that made the video failed to accurately represent the video content. The priest was demoted in the aftermath. At the time, he said in a statement he, was allow he allowed the video because he wanted to strengthen the bonds between the young creative artists who make up a large part of this community and the parish. So holy shit. Well, and Sabrina the Lexus Carpenter. she gave him. And what? And the, the Rolex? Lexus. Uh, Lexus and Rolex. I'm sure she gave him a bunch of stuff. You I'm think? kidding. Oh, I was like, Because he like what? loves flashy things. It's oh, like, I yeah. bet he check his wow. pocket. Oh, Sabrina yeah. Carpenter. Good for her. Really you know who else was a Carpenter? Hard. Jesus. That's true. It, it really all, all comes. Circle. Yeah. 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 That's some Jesus. wild stuff. <laughs> yep. I'm just glad, you know, Catholic priests are being held accountable for something. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, the important stuff. Yeah, revenge, stuff, like <laughs> so music videos. Music videos. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this priest, though. That like, a, that, I don't know. Just like, set I just this wanted all to up. bring the kids together in a church. Okay, yeah. stop right there, Father. <laughs> Father Creed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but did you got? Did you watch Girl Meets World? No, she was on that show. She was. I knew she was as like, like a, a regular, a, a yeah. Disney girl. She was like the main character, the girl who was meeting the world. She was her best friend. Oh, okay. That, and okay. she sang the theme song. So that was like Ooh. the first time I ever saw her. So uh -huh. now I'm like, well, I knew her forever ago when she was singing yeah. the I knew theme her song when she did Disney. Girl Meets World. Yeah. Like us with Austin Butler. We got, we got him in <laughs> We knew start. him before he was Elvis, yeah. Because we watched... Really? I mean, just because we watched the show he was on. High School Musical, the musical? What was he on? No, he was on Switch to Birth. birth. Yeah, really I didn't great. watch that one either. It's a really great, great ABC show. Family show. <laughs> no. I watched you a lot of sign language on it. <laughs> wow. There's no... It's amazing. Good to know. I love seeing the kids grow up and be successful. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a part of it. Good for Sabrina, and she's you know, killing it. She is Truly great. Killing she it. is killing it. She's also <laughs> killing her the her exes that wronged her in a church. Yes. Um, well, we are going from. <laughs> Let's see, we had Brat Girl Summer, Hot mm -hmm. Girl Summer, and we are going to tell you what trends are happening next year. Oh, no. Because that's where we are. We're already thinking about next what year. Is? Are we already? We, yeah. We're still in 2024. Are we? Not really. Not according to AI. What are baby girl boys? <laughs> Not according to AI. So forget baby girl boys. It's going to be Dom Top Summer 2025 land. Are you excited? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time to shine. Dom Top Summer. Finally! Now, um, Waited long enough. No, what it. is baby girl boys? Straight boys. Baby girl boy is like just like a, a feminine, a little feminine boys. Okay. Baby girl boys. I've it's never heard like that. Like a Troy Savon, but like clearly before. you're not going to GayTimes.com very much. No, yeah. I need to start. Yeah. You really need to start going into GayTimes.com. <laughs> it's it's a, a reputable news. What source. a wild web name. Just the link itself yeah. is like 25 oily. <laughs> We did it before P. Diddy did, okay? <laughs> yep. Oh, no. <laughs> now, every September, around the time uh, that coffee shops fight to be the first to drop a PSL, Caitlin Covington awakens from her slumber. TikTok and Instagram gays signal that it's going to be a femme top <laughs> fall. That's what's been said on, on TikTok. And a femme, do you know what a femme top is? Yeah. What is A it? more feminine gay guy. Who's the top? Good for you. I mean, the clues are right there. Well, I know, but some, you'd be I, surprised. I some people are like, oh, no, what we is? We were talking about I clothes. love gay men more than yeah. gay men. I have a gay men <laughs> source who tells yeah. me all about oh, the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you got to have one. Poinsettia Park, I know all about it because of my friend. What, what, the what? second choice for the proposal. You know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> Choice do I not know about Poinsettia Wait, Park? Do What's you this? not know? Poinsettia well, you're Park? probably not cruising. Not Wait, in is, do you know about Poinsettia Park, a Lana Del Rey song? Wait, is that a Lana Del Rey song? <laughs> it's not a Lana Del Rey song, is it? Oh my God! <laughs> but it needs to be. Wait, I'm so what? confused. Do you know what it is or not? Well, I know what Poinsettia Park is. Is it like a hookup oh. spot? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's like a Apparently, cruising spot, which I yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Do you know about Vaseline Alley? <laughs> oh, is that the one where there's cubbies with penises in them? Is it? <laughs> 
No, no, Cubbies with penises. <laughs> I learned about that place recently. Where is that? Alicia's just finding out think about it, glory holes. <laughs> no, they're not glory holes. They you, are. You have to pay. And I was like, this is bullshit. You have to pay to glory? You have to pay to like touch it. And I'm like, mm. well, you get nothing out of that. And then he, my friend was like, True. we're gay. And I was like, oh. Because mm-hmm. I was like, I wouldn't get anything out of that. He's like, well, you're not gay. And I was yeah. like, okay. You have to pay to pork. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then he was like, there's one place where you come in and you're either like a horse or a different type of horse that what do you gets... Mean? Like you're called a mare or something else. A stallion. Oh. Yes. I think mm-hmm. they were dressed as horses. As like, they yes, have something. masks on. And Horse some masks. people lay down and some people go on top of them. You heard about that place? No, but I did know that Folsom Fair was this past weekend. So Folsom What's Fair? Folsom Fair? Now the tables have turned. Oh, yes. hell yeah. Tell Folsom me. Folsom is like the big like leather, like BDSM oh, festival okay. in the oh. Bay Area where oh, everyone like okay. kind of goes around and yeah. harnesses and dog masks yeah. and pees on people. Why is Did you go? Fun? No. Do I look like I would go? <laughs> maybe I'll put it. You have a fun Maybe story. it'll be on my wedding registry for next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's Folsom where your wedding Fair. should be. Oh, go- uh, I can, right out sm- front. I can smell it already and Ew. no thank you. Did but you if say you're into that great, people? Support you. Huh? People pee on people there? Oh, yeah. There is is a- it like a convention? <laughs> it's an outdoor gathering. Oh, okay. Good thing it's outdoor. But it's there, I did market. see video over the weekend like on X and it was like, oh, here's the piss pool. Ew. Come on. And like people would sit in it and then pee on people. Oh, so it wasn't a pool of... I thought it was like a pool full of piss. Like a well, it is pool. a pool full of it piss, literally but you is. get But you can't on. like swim in it. I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> but I thought it was maybe like a pool Could you do up. laps in them? You can... No, you can't because it's a kid pool. No, no, no. But, it's but, just like a baby pool, like a plastic Lee, baby pool. Lee, how did you know? <laughs> but you get Lee it. was filling it up. Lee was gone this weekend. Where were you, Lee? Yeah. Just getting... Drinking a lot of Gatorade. Up. Yeah. But for kitty... Just hydrate. Please, God. Ugh. Just... Well, okay. So... Yeah. Wow. Woo. I believe I missed that. Uh, it is not Fem Top Fall, according to the, the the kids on TikTok. According to Google Trends, at least, perhaps the clear <laughs> desire for Fem Top recognition is a response to the recent universal fawning over straight identifying baby girl boys. A baby girl boy is a person like Jacob Elordi, Paul Mescal, and Timothy Chalamet. Or the rise of softer masculine expressions among straight men. Pleasing pastel nail varnishes. Oh boy. Cutesy broccoli perms. Oh, I hate perms. those two words together. Yeah, we don't have to put cutesy in front of everything. Cutesy broccoli perm. That's What's a broccoli perm? It was like the TikTok hair. Like curly-headed fuck? Like your hair. <gasps> <gasps> Is it? I honestly have no idea. But First of all, not? I have no control. This is jeans. That's jeans. But the kids, I wouldn't intentionally set out to look like a broccoli so headed intentionally fuck. doing it. Yeah, you know the like the TikTok oh, kids. Perm. You see them and they like do the dances and their hair is like curly into the front. That's a broccoli perm. Okay, but they won't say it's a perm. But we're like, so they're like, this is my natural hair. This is my natural hair. <laughs> look. Uh, <laughs> Lee's, Bless look, you. Yeah, Lee's googling it. How oh, the broccoli okay. perm? Oh, yeah. it's that shit. Okay. Yeah, it's it's like a Noah Beck mess. It's like, yeah, <laughs> teen kids are begging their parents to pay for broccoli cuts. Every time I see stuff like this, I'm like, maybe we all should be in look uniforms. at this one. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? That one right there. <laughs> the middle one. Yeah, that Pete one. And Pedro. He's kind of hot though, but he it's is al- hot. But it's also, that hair is just yeah. that hair looks like somebody put it on top. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, it doesn't look like it's actually his body. They just yeah. set it on top of it. Like there. a girl was like, "I'm mad at him. I'm gonna make him look dumb." And Here's the toupee. It's like full on <laughs> Menendez toupee. Now that's what I want to look like. This green woman. That's what I meant when I said like your hair. That's the OG <laughs> broccoli. A compliment. Burn. Just florets of broccoli <laughs> yeah. all over yeah. your head. Nature's broom. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Halloween costume. Um, God. So, uh, let's see. All the biggest DL <laughs> fuckboys you've ever met. Or perhaps it's a desperate attempt by influencers to gain cultural capital mm. by coining a viral mm. seasonal aesthetic. One thing is clear, yeah. though. And, re- and really, in reality, many designers have been leaning far from femme energy and their most recent menswear offerings. Uh, think more wipe-clean leathers, whip-like belts, and harnesses over oiled-up pecs. Mm. Spring, summer 2025 is giving. <laughs> Dom top. Well, so here is the spring. Oh my goodness, is 2025. that twenty I mean, this is it. <laughs> You're gonna have uh, Judge Doom from Roger Rabbit rubber gloves on. <laughs> um, he looks like he's going to handle biohazard waste. <laughs> perfect for grabbing that animated boot and giving it the dip. You know. <laughs> Um, yeah, and here's Troy Sivan, Charlie XCX. They're clearly 
a sporting... It looks like he has duct tape around his arm. Well, <laughs> you can DIY your own harnesses. True, you know? true, yeah. Um, oh, the yeah. Red Ranger. <laughs> yeah, this is Dom, Dom Top. <laughs> Is it though? Who is that? That's Lil Nas, Lil Nas X. When in doubt, oh, Lil it's Lil Nas. He has Nas X. funnels as ears. Yeah. What an absurd costume. So yeah, we are officially. <laughs> so if you see some gentlemen out there in the spring of next year, yeah. just wearing Power Ranger outfits or isn't Dom Top the more there are traditional no scenario anyway? I personally would think question. Dom Top would be more like like a ranch hand. Mm. <laughs> A ranch hand. So not BDSM. No, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't. Yellowstone vibes. Yeah, just like a, like that's, maybe that could be fall. Maybe that's more like ranch hand fall <laughs> for 2025. Just I to, just, okay, I'm thinking top, top, like <clears throat> sex top, not a top that we're wearing. Yes. Right? Well, yeah, well, Dom top. Is, right. Yeah. Because yeah. I would just, I wouldn't ever think there's such a thing as a Dom bottom. Is That's there? what I'm saying. There's That's Dom bottoms. Saying, though. Like, there are never been a Dom bottom. Seems like the more never. traditional scenario, Dom top would be what I yeah, would assume Yeah, this just seems always like, it seems redundant. Case. No, Dom bottoms push back. <laughs> Dom's bottoms push back. <laughs> you don't have to repeat it. It's okay. I was saying it to understand. It. Dom, <laughs> I, Dom said, Dom <laughs> I like how I said Dom Bottoms push back, and you hear Land creepily in the shadows go, mm. Mm, I did hear that. <laughs> He's like, damn fucking straight, we do. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, they do. <laughs> That's right. They're out there. Um all Speaking right. of Dom Bottoms, Madonna. <laughs> Dom Bottom, if I ever heard one. Oh, who is a Dom Top? I will give, yes. I will give uh Madonna that that she is giving off Dom oh, yeah. Top energy. For sure. So I mean, in that picture alone. Madonna's yeah. ex has come forward, Jenny Shimizu, what? and has said that she felt like a high-class hooker while dating the singer. She uh so crazy and so fun. So the model recalls her fling with one of the world's biggest pop stars in the docu-series In Vogue the 90s, which I'm putting that in my watch list Well, why weren't we contacted to be on this yeah. fucking documentary? I'm yeah. so sick of not being on documentaries. <laughs> oh, I'll tell yeah. you that right now. Yeah. <laughs> you, have a, you have a statement to make. It's unacceptable. I have statements. Yeah. Especially so, uh, Jenny Shimizu was having the time of her life in the 90s. Not only was she living her truth as an openly gay model and enjoying professional success, but she was also having fun behind the scenes in the new docuseries In Vogue the 90s. The former Calvin Klein and Banana Republic oh. model opens up about her time romping around Europe with Madonna. She says, I mean, you're not going to say no to Madonna in the 90s. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Not only was it great feeling like a high-class hooker, because really it was, you'd get a phone call like, hey, can you meet me at my Paris show? You're in Europe, right? So I'd be like, yeah, I'm just finishing Prada. <laughs> uh, All of the name this drops. Is such a braggy uh, article. I know. I want to say that one day. I I'm know. finishing Prada. Prada. I'll be right there. Yeah. Right after Prada, I'll catch a plane over, and I would. I'd go to her hotel, to the Ritz, at like four in the morning, have sex, and then fly back to Milan. I want to be able to say everything that was said in that sentence. Same. <laughs> everything. But just so nonchalantly. Well, yeah. hold on. Is it a private plane? Probably not. She probably used it's miles. It's probably first class. <laughs> yeah. Miles. Madonna's flying her over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madonna probably is like, hey, can you come over? And she, yeah. There's this probably... is why I don't understand why people get, a like in TV shows, they get offended when somebody gives them money for having sex. Mm -hmm. Or like, like J Jan would leave money on the dresser for Michael to reimburse for gas. And what? it's like, the office reference. Oh. But it's like, I would love that. I'd love to be earning money for sex. Well, it's also like, <laughs> thank you for thinking that I'm worth that. Yeah. Like, well, I don't understand why we act like it's such a terrible thing. Uh, like, yeah, give me money. And also fly me in to fuck you and then fly me back to go walk in Prada. Oh, my God. What but, a I treat. Mean, what a dream, yeah. though. Like, seriously, she said uh, in the docuseries, she was like, oh, my God, my wife is going to kill me for telling this story. <laughs> She's been married to Michelle Harper uh, since 2014. Shimizu also touched on that time in her life in her memoir release that last year. Mm. It wasn't about an emotional bond. It was about taking each other to the heights of sexual ecstasy. <laughs> wow. Now, that sounds like Madonna told her to say that. Oh, God, yeah. Madonna loves that. Mm -hmm. That's I'm a wild to, yeah. statement. She's like, I'm going to be provocative. <laughs> okay, Madonna, we got it. <laughs> I want to talk about sexual experience. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, she says, I love the fact that I was at this woman's beck and call. It turned me on being ordered to her room whenever she felt like sex. Now, you guys talked about Madonna. 
Yeah. On yeah. your podcast. We didn't dive into this, I'll tell you that much. Well, but that's why I wanted to we ask talk you. To our writers. It's never really been Madonna's no. never really addressed. That's what I was just she about to say. I didn't even know that this was like a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At all. Did you? No, but I mean, she's she's had these like, you know, Sandra Bernhard. She's had these like like Mm. lesbian Please. relationships yeah. but all of them I will say know how to boil water <laughs> <laughs> exactly and that's the take home message yeah yeah um <laughs> but she's had like you know Sandra Bernhardt she's had Rosie I want to say like <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> they were great for I mean yeah Ingrid Caceres yeah um, um Britney Spears Britney Spears she they had, had a very public with. relationship but also like in her sex book she had like Naomi Campbell with her mm. So, but she, Madonna's never came forward and said, like, yes, I've had yeah. Yeah. a lesbian experience. It's always these other girls who are like, well, yeah, we kind of did. Hmm. What's going on? I don't know. This Do just adds to Madonna answer. being Madonna. I That's know. What I'm saying. Like, like, we don't even know. What was the one fact, like, her birthday or something? There was something where it was oh, like. Yeah, that was, we had a hard time with her story because there was. So, so many, many differing stories from her. Like, uh -huh. she was just dicting herself. Yeah, where it's like, I don't know if she's <laughs> intentional or she's just gotten to the point where there's so many things in her life that she can't keep track of her. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. But I can see her being like, yeah, so what? I was banging women. Like, yeah. I I'm fluid. It gives kind of like how Lady Gaga, when that stuff about, she, t she recently talked about when there were those people who thought she was trans like years oh, ago right, right, and right, how right. she didn't address those yeah. rumors. We talked it about kinda, that last week, yeah. Yeah, it, it, this is kind of similar to that. I feel like where Madonna's like, why? Who cares? Think whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. Like, I know. Yeah. I'll sleep with whoever I'm I want. I'm Madonna. And I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it's like, who cares? Yeah. Whatever. But I do love that like, uh, well, I'm leaving Prada right now. I like, know. That's, I mean, let's just leave Prada. <laughs> Honestly, it just seems like that docuseries is for this woman to brag about working at Prada. And this article. Yeah, all yeah. of it. But are we watching this docuseries? I'm going to yes. watch it for sure. I can't wait. I love um, the 90s. Well, this woman, I don't know if you guys have seen this story. Uh, this, <laughs> have you seen this? Have you seen this video? Oh, this no, but this is This woman is going viral all over the internet because she <laughs> is saying in the video that she missed her husband's funeral because <clears> it coincided <throat> with a holiday vacation that she had planned prior. She mm -hmm. says, unfortunately for me, he just decided to die on the week I had planned to go on vacation. Now, we can take a listen. It's real quick. Can, real quick, can we just talk about yeah. this person in the background? <laughs> Spread out on that, on that, just like... And not one ounce of SPF on. Oh, no. No. She's that, she's going to turn into a cook it. chicken. I don't even need a base tan. Well, I don't care. Her boyfriend's going to propose and the SPF is in the backpack, so she wasn't allowed to put any on. You guys, it was everyone. the whole time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just me sprawled out. <laughs> Just a Yeti in the sand. Oh my God. Um, but let's take a listen to this video. It's actually really amusing. Because obviously I am busy here in Tunisia. European. I would have loved to have gone. We were together for 17 years. Unfortunately for me, he did decide to die on the week I had planned to come on holiday. So I did make the decision not to go because, you know, I need a holiday at the end of the day. My holiday is way more important than sitting in a church watching people cry. I would love to give him a good send off. So I'm going to get absolutely drunk tonight with my new, with this new guy that I met. And Stop. I'm going to raise a glass for you, Jeremy, because okay, you are an amazing now. husband, very rich. Um, I can't <laughs> wait to do the will be when I'm home, okay. I have made sure I'm going <laughs> well to be home to do the will reading because I would not miss that in the world because obviously I am due to get a lot of money and that's a very, very important thing to me. So um, I hope you have a good funeral today, Jeremy. Love you. All good things have to come to it. This can't be real. It's real. She's her name faking. is Plastic She's... Amy. Yeah, look at her. She's just faking all of this. If she really wants to make it up to him, she'll blow his corpse. And that's the only way I'll believe that she really loved him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hopefully uh, they didn't cremate him. <laughs> fingers crossed. Make it hard. But this seems fake. Yeah. I, I this don't seems know like, anymore. I Color. think Ray Jones 06 said it. Yeah, <laughs> probably scripted for outraged attention. The internet is You so know annoying. what? I I want to say yes, I agree with you, but I think, <laughs> I think it's actually real because I feel... First of all, she says, I've been with this guy for 17 years. Mm -hmm. We planned this vacation. He died. He'd want me to go on this vacation. My thing is, I I would I believed it up until she was like, "I'm gonna come back for the will," and he's rich. And I was like, now all of a sudden, it's like it just the the the. 
it like she seemed like she was trying to be like you know I'm, this is I'm just being matter of fact about this but now it's like oh you're just trying to act like you're a gold digger and you only care about this yeah. and you met somebody else That's on your trip and with this new guy I met that was the part that I was mean like, mm. let's be real she has fake lashes on yeah. during her her beach day and that's a big red flag for me mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's broccoli hair lashes at the beach <laughs> yeah. and you can't boil water those are the those my are three, the three like ones for you. red flag yeah I now, think would there you is a go on a trip if you had a trip booked <laughs> how are you thinking about this I know I love that he's thinking well now I'm thinking like of the future you know just me yeah. just old beef jerky but like doing well <laughs> Yeah. Well, what's the? I mean, no. It? Like, if 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 there was a horrible like accident or if, if a funeral that it was like, oh, you have to be at this. Yeah, I feel like yeah. a vacation is. We can reschedule it, but I don't know. I just feel like there's some posh bitches out there who are like, well, it's also insane. I plan my vacation. I'm not going to cancel. <laughs> don't the spouses generally are the ones that decide when the funeral is? Mm. So why wouldn't she just? Put him on ice for a couple weeks while she went on her vacation and then did the mm -hmm. funeral then. Because the trip's in his name and she's already been upgraded as much as she <laughs> can be, you know? Like, they're like, oh, yeah. where is he? Oh, he's not going to make it. Uh, he went to the bathroom. He did. <laughs> you know? And then it's like, well, he died. You can't take the trip now. You know right. what I mean? If it's all in his name, I don't know. But I love it. I'll allow it. I will That's allow it. Okay, is. now let's talk about true heroes. <clears throat> Mariah Carey. I don't know if you guys saw this. There's video of her climbing the Great Wall of China um, in heels. I mean, talk about a thaw out for Christmas. She's really thawing. <laughs> she's she got to, each year, she has to do something a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And so eventually, she's going to be doing something in January for the coming December. Dom January. top summer. Dom top spring, Mariah. Mm. <laughs> Now, weirdly enough, you can see the Great Wall of China from space, and you could actually see Mariah Carey climbing <laughs> in heels from space. from space. So she went to the Great Wall of China and, of course, <clears throat> did it in high heels. She was scaling the 21,000-kilometer structure along with her two children, Moroccan and Monroe. Nick Cannon's kids. <laughs> but like, Who isn't Nick Cannon's kids? True. I mean, seriously. They're Nick Nick everywhere. Kids. Yeah. Um, dressed in a chic black dress, black shades, immaculate makeup, and a blow-dried ponytail. Who wrote this? Her? <laughs> <laughs> she probably did. <laughs> she wrote this article. She's like, independent, like, let me go ahead and write this article. Mm -hmm. And a voice that hasn't changed since the day she began singing. <laughs> but also she wrote, at the Great Wall of China, <laughs> someone should have warned me about heels. Not that I would have listened. <laughs> I think that she's just called being an adult to know if you're at something called Great Wall, maybe wear sneakers. <laughs> maybe wear sensible shoes. No. Not a, um, Mariah Carey was walking on her treadmill in heels during Cribs. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, she's she not also gonna... took a bathtub in like her clothes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> her kid is having a her great kids time. Are pissed. She made them wear heels too. So <laughs> um, let's see. So only Mariah Carey would walk the Great Wall of China in heels and actually be able to do it. Okay. Okay, so now, yes, she clearly wrote this article. Yeah. Uh, first woman to walk the Great Wall in heels, joked another. Another day, another record for the queen. So I I need, I have a lot of questions. Are there blisters? Is there blood? Like, I, Yeah, can we see, did, did she have a picture of her in the heels? Like, how are you going to talk about wearing heels but not show us? In you? my head, when you said climb the Great Wall in heels. Scaling the wall. I was picturing her scaling the I wall, not climbing up the stairs of like the tourist attraction. <laughs> I truly was thinking scaling the wall and I was like, just no. Like a, like, <laughs> like a ninja? Yeah, just, like, yeah. Shh, shh. I don't know why. Using the heels as leverage. But yeah. Oh, oh there they oh, are. She's in Holy pain. good God. She's in pain. She's we're holding on to the, her two bodyguards for Ooh. real life. Ankle break. You got on. the best of me. <laughs> oh. That's, I mean, but here's the thing. I, over the weekend, we've seen a lot of celebrities just doing normal civilian things. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Mariah Carey walking the Great Wall of China. Yeah. We also, over the weekend, had Christina Aguilera showing up at the local Barry's Boot Camp here in West Hollywood. Oh, my did you God. See this? No. Mariah Carey, or uh, Christina Aguilera, what did I say? Christina Aguilera, Christina right? Aguilera, yeah. Christina Aguilera no popped way. up at this Barry's Boot Camp in West Hollywood. It was just like, hey, you guys. Uh, and like showed up. Did she do the workout? No. <laughs> Wait, what? Was she Why was there she there? For? She was just there. She just showed up to promote her new Barry's Boot Camp smoothie. Wait for the title. I can't. 
Genie in a blender. Oh. Love. I don't hate that. I love the name. I hate everything else about what you just said. <laughs> she just showed up to do, you know, she just she had to pull up on she had to pull on her blonde ponytail. Wow. What's the uh, the ingredients? In sure. This movie? Yeah, what's the ingredients <laughs> in this movie? I don't know. I think it was just like in a collaboration to celebrate the 25th anniversary of her first album, which she did with Sabrina Carpenter. It all comes back. It all comes back to Sabrina. Yeah, it really does. It all it does. comes back. Wow. And uh, so then she was like, while I'm here, I'll stop where the gays are, mm-hmm. Barry's boot camp. Mm-hmm. 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 That's and see are. how many Dom Tops... I can get. She should have stopped at that gym with the thrones in the lobby. She really wanted. She would yeah, never. <laughs> she would never. You know who would? Addison Ray. Oh yeah, she'll do anything. <laughs> Which, by the way, Addison Ray. You what? know who Addison Ray is? Uh, yes. Yeah, she ruins. I do. He's all that. <laughs> we can't just let anybody be in a rom com. I'm sorry. Enough and I'm pissed that. because I had the idea for He's All That in 2012, <laughs> and I have record of it. It was my idea. Oh, wasn't that original? Regardless. Uh huh. My idea. And then they cast her and she ruins it. I mean, there were a lot of things that ruined it, but still. Well, John Hill. Yes. Introduced me. To Addison Rae. To an Addison Rae song. Oh. oh. That is out right now called Diet Pepsi. <laughs> okay. And it's really good. I gotta hear it. I know. I hate myself. What are you and John trying to do to this community? <laughs> like, come on. The community. <laughs> I'm telling you what, Evan will get in Evan's car and he will put it on. Uh, you know why? Okay. First of all, it's not a song. It's <laughs> that it's it's a breathy bop. It's just her saying Diet Pepsi over and over again? I don't even know if she says the word Diet <laughs> Pepsi. I don't understand words anymore because it's just like, and it's just good. It's just a breathy bop. Caffeine. Summertime. Yeah, it's that, but it has like a mm-hmm. good, like, it has a good beat underneath it. Here, we can't play it, obviously, because we'll get, you know, Flagged or whatever. You think she like, want the promo? Yeah, really. I don't even know if she says the word Diet Pepsi, but it's something along the lines of like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know why I'm trying to explain <laughs> the song. It's just good and catchy. And I'm really mad because Sabrina Carpenter didn't do it. Mm. So we can just listen to a little bit of it. Oh, I have heard this song. And it's giving you like Calvin Klein, late 90s. It's actually giving me video they show kids before prom so they don't drink and drive because that oh. looks very dangerous. Or drink and yes. gyrate on the driver without yeah. seatbelts. Yeah, yeah, Equally but it's dangerous. also classic, like, bad girl. <laughs> you know, I'm going to bite my pinky. <laughs> Great screenshot. Of course. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, uh. Wear cone boobs. Yeah. Cone Which, boobs. I love a yeah. cone bra. Which, I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw Addison Rae at the VMAs. I did. But it was yeah. a lot. The bra was a lot. It was a whole thing. But speaking of a lot, our final story, we have Jojo Siwa. I don't know if you guys saw this. I did. Uh, America's (laughs) favorite feral Tasmanian lesbian. (laughs) Feral Tasmanian. Um, What a great, you need to trademark that. That's it. That's the perfect way to describe her. Feral. Feral. Tasmanian Tasmanian devil. Lesbian. Lesbian. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jojo Siwa does not know how to boil water, (laughs) but she knows how to boil our fucking nerves. (laughs) Um, <laughs> our blood. Yeah, or blood, yes. Jojo Siwa models a bedazzled jockstrap and chest plate for Lady Gun magazine. Um, I was sent this. Anything Jojo Siwa does now, it's my fault. It's my yeah. fault. Mm. I talked about it. I opened the can of worms, yeah. and people just send me everything yeah. she does. Yeah. Um, you and Abby Lee Miller, it's really all your fault, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> you brought this upon yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and don't even get us started on the cherry red apple team. Candy apple. The candy apples. Oh, watch out, guys. Candy I, apples over there. I was behind JoJo Siwa uh, pulling into Walmart. How'd you know oh, it was her? You saying supporting her. <laughs> How'd you know it was JoJo Siwa driving? Gosh, you know, <laughs> interesting you should ask. She was wearing that. She was. But for anyone who doesn't know, yeah. her fucking face is all over her car. Yeah. It's like, are you trying to get harmed? Yeah. Yeah. I would not do that. Was it the old pictures or the new uh, karma the Karma Corvette or the Karma mm, Lamborghini. Karma Corvette. I don't know, actually. The Karma Lamborghini. It wasn't that long ago. It was only a couple months ago. Okay, you were so, behind her or she was behind you? I was behind her pulling into that whole like plaza. And was she going to Walmart too? I don't know. <gasps> Does Jojo go to Walmart? I don't know. I, I was picking up my dog's honestly. prescription. I don't go to Walmart otherwise. <laughs> I hate that place with a passion. Well, here so she cool. is. She, I mean, she's really trying. She might have been picking up those boots, actually. Yeah, they look like Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I know this isn't the point. But I hate that the metallics are different colors. <laughs> like the, oh, the top the, is like more silver and the boots are gold. 
Well, what yeah. about the fact that there's abs well, in a different color? Do you see that? The sparkle is like where there should be abs? That's no, insane. it's a whole miss. <laughs> the whole thing is a miss. It's a whole miss. And you know what? People say like, ah, oh, she's only a kid. Leave her alone. She's her 21 makeup, years old. She's a grown up. okay. Huh? The makeup's okay. You know what? It looks I'm like not what gonna Rachel lie. Green looks like when Ross does her makeup in that what? episode. Well, I mean, she her face looks fine. Is what she I'm looks? Like, yeah, I her mean, face looks fine. But I will say, body. she look. I I will say, apart from everything else, I like this. It's mm-hmm. I, I. This is okay. It's better than that like kiss makeup. Oh God, yes. that was going on. That was. Yeah. But then you gotta do. This is okay. This is not bad at all. I like this. I like the it's color. It's very vibes. Angelina Jolie, yeah. Yeah. very like yeah, Mark, it Marky is. Mark. Yeah. But no one's focusing on this because it looks okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Like, no, this isn't the- How are you going to focus on this when there's a bedazzled <laughs> penis? But then it's that. I the just, nipple. I don't get it. Like, even the breastplate doesn't bother me. It's just the like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she. And here's another thing that bugs me about JoJo Siwa. There's many of them. I know what I was going to say. What? No, I don't. You have a whole list of things. That you I have a whole list. But recently, she's doing these interviews, and she's like, "Well, I'm a gay man trapped in a woman's body." I'm like, "No lesbian <laughs> says that. No lesbian says that. They say I don't know how to boil water. Uh-huh. I don't know how to measure spices, but they don't say don't I'm a gay I'm man trapped in a woman's body. Straight women say that. Trapped in a woman's body. gay man trapped in a woman's body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see a straight woman saying. She's that. like, well, I'm a gay man, so I I'm, I'm identify. I see myself as a gay man. I'm like, bitch, stop, don't. <laughs> no, no, Siwa. No, no. She's. Siwa. I think she's spiraling, in a very weird, not terribly toxic way, mm-hmm. but in a way where it's like, it's hard to reconcile. It's like, is this just twenty one year old behavior growing up with like kind of a fucked up grow up, like mm-hmm. growing up in a fucked up environment? Or is she like, needs help? <laughs> I think she's desperate to have her own identity. Mm-hmm. Because like she grew up with dance moms and it was like a whole thing and yeah. bows and little girls and like that that was everybody. Now she's like, I need to do something different. Well, now she's a gay man. She's now a now gay I man. gotta be a gay man. But it always reminds me of that clip from Dance Moms where Abby Miller tells JoJo's mom, she's like, she doesn't know anything. She's gonna grow up. <laughs> She's going to grow up and she's going to think everyone likes her and they're not and she's not going to know what to do about it. And I'm like, wow. Abby Lee Miller. She called that. Yeah. Prophecy. Was JoJo the one that said that Candace Cameron's the worst celebrity? Yes. yes. Which that I mean, is my favorite We're part all on board about. for that part. Yeah. Yeah. That was when she was palatable. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally like three months ago. Yeah. She, no, that was <laughs> the beginning. Of, she's been through a lot this year. I, I know. this has all been this year. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like... Yeah. Jojo Siwa will age you dramatically. <laughs> and she's also a glitch in the timeline because mm. you're like, I don't know what was past, what's present, what's yeah. future. Well, what's her deal? She's still doing, she still does music, right? She tours. Is she touring? <laughs> Other than driving into Walmart with Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> what's she doing these days? Oh, she's no. touring Burbank only. <laughs> yeah. Going to pick up a case of Diet Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Please yes. come Such back anytime. Please tell everyone where they can follow you, listen to you, all yeah. of it. Y'all have so much going on and y'all are just kicking ass. <laughs> we have Rich and Weekly, which comes out on Thursdays. We have Even the Rich, which is returning October 15th. 15th. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, and that I'm comes out on us. Tuesdays. And then Even the Royals also comes out Mondays. On Mondays. Yeah. And then I'm on socials at Arisha Skidmore Williams. And I'm at Brooke Ziffrin. Oh my gosh. And you guys, yeah. thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a fantastic week. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm engaged. My thing is so heavy. <laughs> oh. We will see you next time here on the Just Saying Podcast. <laughs> have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye.